So space is contextual on two things, right? Where your team is and where the enemy team is. So exactly. right here, you said that I was aware of where my Torbjorn was. I wanted to control point. That's good. We can check that one off. Our team is probably contesting this area right now. Now, my problem is your vision here. Now, if you heard Hanzo to your left and you wanted to do this, that's okay. We love to see it. However, my question is here, what about a wrecking ball out of ball form shooting a Moira says, oh, this space is being contested by somebody lethal. I need to bubble this. I, yeah, I just went to a teammate right? immediately. So then yeah. if somebody's oh. going to be contesting this space right now and making it difficult or scary for your team right now, at right, this very second, you know it's not ball. It's Hanzo. It's yeah. Hanzo. Or <laughs> yeah, even Genji Hanzo. still. Or even Genji still. Yeah. Like, where's this Genji? So if you're going to bubble off an area, you would want to bubble off Hanzo sightline and then use that bubble to, at the same time, shoot the Hanzo to back him yeah, up. Yeah, I don't engage the Hanzo here. I tried spacing the ball, which is dumb. Right, like, that's the problem. Yeah. The bubble ends up working out because it does catch the Hanzo, but that was an accident, right? So you can yeah. do it right now. And even this here, it's like we use our jump, we use our bubble, and we're not shooting Hanzo at the same time. We should be having our cake and eating it too. So you can see right here, this helps to control space. Why? Because this Torb's not getting shot by Hanzo. This Torb is not getting shot by Genji, but it was an accident. That's the problem. That's why we go for squishies, is because you are so good at shooting squishies that you create more space when you shoot squishies, because you force them out of good positions. If you shoot a ball, he ignores you and continues to contest space. That's the problem. Hey guys, this is an in-depth Winston guide on taking space and play style. I think it's actually not super intuitive in how this is actually done, especially with a dive from Mobile Hero. And I hope after this video that you have a better idea of how target party it helps you to make informed decisions about how to create space. If you're interested in supporting me, consider subscribing to my Patreon, link in the description, or subscribing to my YouTube. Also, please, I need help. Call the police. I mean, Winston's one of my least played tanks in the game, funny enough, mm -hmm. but um, I, w I wanted to try learning him here, and mm -hmm. then I thought if I hit, before we start, the thing I struggled with the most is I couldn't, the the ball set up the Hanzo to carry in this game, oh. I feel like, and mm -hmm. I was just trying to figure out how to do that and get my team forward well, to... Let's talk about like what, what Winston is good at here, because because like obviously like we're talking about a lot of dive tanks, D.Va, Winston, uh, uh, Wrecking Ball, let's actually pull this up right here. Give me a second. Mobility, okay? Like frequency of mobility. Where does where does Diva lie in terms of like the mobility? I mean, I guess compared to the other two, she's in the middle, right? I've, I've, she's better mobility uh, than Winston, but less than Ball. I would agree with that. Okay, what about Winston? So he's kind of bad, right? Yeah, but he was with, with his with his uh with his right. shield, I guess. But... Right. And wrecking Ball highest mobility. So what does that actually yeah. mean? What is how do you actually what does the boat the higher mobility mean for Ball versus Winston? Let's just compare. Um, the it, the for best. me, it's uh. How often you can engage and escape? Because if you're faster, you can take more precise engages and right, escapes. Right, and it also means who you can engage on too. You can go sure. literally anybody yes. that you want. Okay, so let's talk about like lethality. Now this one is very contextual. Like it's unfair for me to kind of like assign a lethality. I, I understand the ball and diva. I'm already just going back and forth with my head on. Right, immediately. right, right. <laughs> but if you, if you get X hero onto like let's say a squishy. How likely is that target to be terrified that I'm going to immediately die? I think D would be number one there. Okay. Then Ball two, then Winston three. Okay. So then why why is what is Winston good at here? Because we have a real real problem. It's space in my head. He's I think he's better at controlling and denying space. Okay. What does that mean specifically? So space is such a large uh, subject in my head. Um. Mm -hmm. Because uh, as D.Va, I can't really initiate my team to go in. I can't, like, defense Matrix Rocks, walk, like, an Ana in. It's not really, uh, you know, applicable. But as Winston, I can I can cut off a whole entire lane with Bubble, like, mm -hmm. instantly. Just mm -hmm. like that. And then I can separate enemy tanks as well. Like, if, if the Sigma's there, I jump on him, put a Bubble on him. Their sight lines are engaged. Mm -hmm. Winston is just the best at space control. Sure. Ball can boot people and stuff, which I guess is a different version of space control. But it's, like, disruption in my head. I don't mm -hmm. think... He's as good as controlling an area as Winston is. Sure, sure, sure. It definitely feels like when Winston jumps to a location, that location is secure. When I am in, and I would even say in terms of space, I would also say like in terms of like when he's in, how long does he stay in compared to a diva or ball, right? Um, yeah. So we could add in like another little thing here, like uh, uh, length of engagement, like we'll just say LE here. And I think it feels like Winston is, oh, he's when he's in, he's in for a long time, usually. Um, yeah. Whereas a diva or a ball, like a ball is very 
short, probably the least of the diva with matrix is probably somewhere in between. Um, but it feels like, I guess, without talking about ultimates and matchups, just general feel of the hero. Like you said, when Winston's in, he's in. And there's a nice, big, fat, juicy window of time where you're going to have a big distraction and a big area of the map controlled. Um, whereas Ball feels like he's more, his, he's more able to go in more frequently, but each individual engage means less than it does for Winston, right? Yeah, um, and the same thing kind of goes for Diva as well. So I guess like keeping all this in mind, this is kind of a clunky drawing, but you get the idea. Let me go back to our <laughs> this normal beautiful. stream here. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm like looking at the matchup here, and I'm like that ball's gonna go in. And you said he was enabling Hanzo. Well, my first reaction is then why are we not controlling Hanzo? Um, then because I have to then one v four the Hanzo is my team's getting bullied by the backline by the. By the ball. This is a but, the but game with zero how, like, I can Maybe you see how I can flip the script with that. I could say, yes, I'm, it's, I'm coaching it's, the ball. It's, 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 so why can the ball win and I not win? Right, and, right, right. And so, would, like, I wish I could say, well, one, I guess got to be better. It's usually always my answer should be better. Mm -hmm. But like my, my, my excuse, I guess I have, to have, I have to have one, is his character is better suited for engaging and taking out picks versus me solo. Ball is a much sure. better solo character but like sure. it's an excuse i don't like excuses sure 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 I, I i would agree with that as well i mean to me it's like yes the ball will be able to go in and out better but i think when you're in you'll have a more meaningful impact while you're in and you might even be able to stay there longer um not to mention i think primal rage is probably the better ultimate as well so anytime that you're able to close yeah, the distance that. without taking a lot of damage winston's going to feel good anytime you can't close the distance without taking a lot of damage wrecking ball is going to feel good that's where the mobility the speed the lack of head hitbox that feels better so for me i want to see hanzo controlled i want to see kiriko controlled maybe genji controlled maybe some pressure on mercy i don't really know but there should be no follow-up or minimal follow-up on those ball engages and that's on you that needs to be what, what what our goal is and then also you need to be taking as little damage as possible when you are zoning off those engages it's the exact yeah. same thing but mirror images of each other for ball on winston yeah i, I think this game i um I definitely played a lot, way too passive. I feel like I need to lead more and actually be the more controller. Because I think I follow, tried following our somber a lot. Because like I was like, sure. okay, if, if I can't tell our somber what to do, I'll just try to follow up on her. Sure. I mean, I don't actually think that's a bad thing, as long as what the somber is going on is also a target that works for you. Yeah. Like here, if you're sitting in your backline and hacking ball, and you go for ball, you're going to be doing like 40 DPS. You know, with with the armor, yeah. it's just it's meaningless, right? Um, so like here. This is fine because it's Genji, it's Genji's out, and it didn't cost you your bubble, right? So that's okay. But like right now, where is that Hanzo? This bubble here makes literally no sense whatsoever. Now it, I, ends, it ends up cutting off Hanzo, right? Yeah. So it actually works out nicely, but I don't care about how it worked out. I want I want to know what your intentions with that bubble were, and I don't like your intentions with that bubble. Okay, so my, my, my first thought was control space. We had no setup, and we have an yeah. on a torp. Sure. And so I, we had, I wanted to, I was hoping, like I don't, I don't, I didn't check my teammates here. It's pure just guess. Sure. I was hoping they were getting close here. I saw my turret, and I was hoping they controlled the space. I did hear sure. the Hanzo to my left. Sure, sure. And I just wanted to control that space. So, so why is this ship or bubble? So let's talk about curious. that. Let's talk about that. So space is contextual on two things, right? Where your team yeah. is and where the enemy team is. So exactly. right here, you said that I was aware of where my Torbjorn was. I wanted to control point. That's good. We can check that one off. Our team is probably contesting this area right now. Now, my problem is your vision here. Now, if you heard Hanzo to your left and you wanted to do this, that's okay. We love to see it. However, my question is here, what about a wrecking ball out of ball form shooting a Moira says, oh, this space is being contested by somebody lethal. I need to bubble this. I, yeah, I just went to a teammate right? immediately. So then yeah. if somebody's going to be contesting this space in the current situation, who is it going to be? Sorry, can you that one more time? If I cut somebody's out. going to be contesting this space right now and making it difficult or scary for your team right now, at this very second, you know it's not Ball. It's Hanzo. It's yeah. Hanzo. Or even <laughs> yeah, Genji Hanzo. still. Or even Genji still. Yeah. Like, where's this Genji? So if you're going to bubble off an area... You would want to bubble off Hanzo sightline and then use that bubble to at the same time shoot the Hanzo to back him yeah, up. Yeah, I don't engage the Hanzo here. I tried spacing the ball, which is dumb. Right. Like, That's the problem. Yeah. The bubble ends up working out because it does catch the Hanzo, but that was an accident, right? So you can yeah. do it right now. And even this here, it's like we use our jump, we use our bubble, 
and we're not shooting Hanzo at the same time. We should be having our cake and eating it too. So you can see right here, this helps to control space. Why? Because this Torb's not getting shot by Hanzo. This Torb is not getting shot by Genji, but it was an accident. That's the problem. Um, yeah. And then we should have been jumping here as Hanzo. I mean, even here, like we're, we're, we're right clicking Genji when I feel like we should have been using that bubble to zap Hanzo. We need to keep that guy from being, like we're not killing him, but we can prevent him from getting damage boosted. Pressure, just right. pressure him out. Right, force that Mercy to heal beam, which means that our bubble lasts a second longer, which means we get a second more damage, which means that we take less damage, our bubble lasts longer, so we are able to control space a little bit longer and so on, right? So like we, we need to get value here because now we didn't get a lot out of our bubble, now that Hanzo is able to uh, ignore you essentially for two or three seconds, maintain damage boost, and then focus your Sombra. Now, could you have won this fight with better target focus? I don't know, but I, I certainly can't have my Hanzo playing here. Can't. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I mean, the point, fight doesn't matter. It's just the practice behind it, the philosophy behind it. Right. Like, right, right. Yeah. So I'm re sure re re Right. Revising <laughs> this fight here. If we jump Hanzo and bubble on Hanzo, this guy's probably not even allowed to be in this position anyway. He actually probably has and to back up. And a lot more. And then indirectly probably would have forced the Sombra to, or allowed the Sombra to survive. So anyway, like we could follow, we could follow a, a should have, could have, would have, maybe could have sort of, I don't know, maybe, but it doesn't really matter. Like that's why we go for squishies is because you are so good at shooting squishies that you create more space when you shoot squishies because you force them out of good positions. If you shoot a ball, he ignores you and continues to contest space. That's the problem. Does that kind of make sense? It does make sense. Like, that's why mobile comps matter, because we're thinking, like, who's the most dangerous person on this battlefield right now in terms of positioning? Probably Hanzo or Genji. Genji's on the aggressive off angle, so we're trying to say, we want to get rid of this guy, because if this guy goes back to his team, he's less of a threat to my backline. And now my team controls this space, and then we kind of sequentially move up from there. Now, my problem with this jump, though, is what? Um, it's not doing that. <laughs> it's not doing that, and not only that, what's happening on your port side here, right? You see this? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting crossfired now. You're getting crossfired. You don't have cover. So what would have been the optimal jump here to contest control? To the pillar. To the pillar, right. So we would have jumped right, immediately contested Genji, LOS the Hanzo, probably kept our bubble, then used the space we now control to walk on or flank onto the Hanzo, and again, contest this space. Why does this space matter for our team? That's point. <laughs> because that's point, and also, who's here? Hanzo. Yeah. Hanzo. This so we're Hanzo. keeping this guy busy so our team can actually walk forward and not die to this space, right? You're either creating space or contesting space that's dangerous to your team. And you choose which space is dangerous to your team based off of the positions of the map that are powerful and also the targets that are on those positions, right? If a ball was sitting here shooting, you would not, you would ignore this position. Yes. This position doesn't matter. Yeah, Even though it's technically you. a powerful position, it's not powerful for ball. Now, if Hanzo was here, this is now an important space for you to contest and control because yeah. of the target that's on that position. Um, I think I use my bubble way too much to try to zone lanes. Um, yes. When a, yes. Versus a, a person. Right. 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 The, the the lane is only as dangerous as the person occupying person. it. Usually. Yes. Usually. Yeah. Like there's there definitely a position. There are good positions and there are bad positions. But I uh, more often than not would probably have you contest a Hanzo in a bad position than a ball in the good position. Um, I do like that we haven't used our, our bubble here. So let's probably try and use it now. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like not super optimal. Yeah, like, but, 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 but do you see your Moira and Torb here? Mm -hmm. They've broken from one point to the second point. They've kind of like leveled up. You see their positioning. They're a little bit safer and a little bit more aggressive positions. So it's not optimal, but we're, we are creating space here. Yeah. And I, I kept checking back from the, the Arana. I didn't push forward or commit further because I was always worried about Arana, and I feel like I got too worried about that. It's mechanical diff right there. Yeah, a little bit of mechanical diff. I mean, yeah, you have to worry a little bit about your Arana, but I think like if you're soup, your your goal should be to so be so disciplined with your cover usage and your jumps that you you don't worry about not getting healed for a couple of seconds. You should always yeah. have like I'm I'm really good with my position. You got a warrior here. Uh, this is just a goofy jump. You'll see a lot of mechanical shit. I think I mentioned my thing. I have a trimmer. I shake a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So they just a lot of mechanic diff, and it's just that's just life. We just it, keep going next. Right. Exactly. It happens. Don't worry yeah. about it. This is this is goofy. This is goofy. As good as we have been with our bubbles. Yeah. I, I had to come. One had to come eventually. I'm the most inconsistent person ever. I'll blunder my queen halfway through a game. Sure. It like, happens. Kind of deal. So, so like yeah. here, it's like just just keep walking, keep walking, and then bubble plant here, right? Um, yeah. I should, the space that, that that bubble control space doesn't matter. The right, space is irrelevant. Right, right, right. We want to get on top of these guys here so that then we can kind of create pressure. Now we wouldn't be able to get on the Hanzo, but that's okay. We get one, two, three. Then we take that. We take that. And 
we just need to keep walking forward. I probably wouldn't worry about the the the, the widow. Oh, the widow am I saying? The mercy. Just when she's in Valk, unless she's a. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and this is whatever. Like this is maybe winnable. Yeah. I want to. I want to try to focus on the simple stuff, you know. Yeah, I'm not worried about the mechanics. Like, I, I don't play with. I practice. I can go in like the game and practice yeah. primal over and over again. Unfortunate. It um, you're not feeding. We're just there's just some little things that we need to clean up. Okay, I want to focus on next fight now. So, again, where's this Hanzo? Where's this Genji? Where's this Kiriko? Even why? Because those are heroes that I can control very easily with my hero. Um. And then what you do is you go, okay, if Hanzu and Genji are both in a good position, who do I prioritize? Yeah, I, I, you I know? Uh, you know, what if what if Hanzo's in a slightly less aggressive position? Do I still go for Hanzo? What if Kiriko doesn't have Suzu? Is it better for me to, to sacrifice position to go for the kill? Right. So so it's like it's like that gut feeling that we kind of have to start training and thinking about. Yeah. You do it right. Like this is the per correct play, right? This guy was in an aggressive position and he's a good target and now he's walking in front of your team's line. So this is this is a good play. But there's be sometimes where you don't make a good play, so we have to revisit and kind of revisit the math problem. Like if I said two plus two, three plus three, nine plus nine, right? You could go bam, 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 bam. But then if I go 64 plus 56, you might go, uh, okay, got it, right? It might take you just a second longer, and we need that to be faster. Um, this yeah. situation, you make the right experience. I we, feel. Should, we should have dropped here. We should have dropped here. We should have dropped here, yeah. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't know if I should have committed or not. I thought I should have definitely not committed to the bubble, at least. But I didn't, I didn't I want to commit down there. I think the bubble was just dumb. Yeah, because it, it's like, okay, we control this space, but we don't care about the space anymore because this yeah. Hanzo is not using it. We want to use our bubble to enable us to contest the enemy team. Um, so like this is like we are getting some value out of this, but like again that Hanzo is able to just kind of ignore you now, and then I'm yeah. getting deja vu all over again to quote Yogi Berra. Like, you know, like that's a great shot, but the guy shouldn't have been allowed to do that. You know what I'm saying? He shouldn't yeah. be allowed to. My cat is perching precariously near my computer power button. Hey, <laughs> you're gonna need to move, sweetie. Sorry, I'm gonna put you right there. That is definitely not happened in a VOD review live on stream before. Um, <laughs> shutting down, yeah. I remember back in the day when I was doing a roast review, I slammed my desk so hard to unplug my Wi Fi. Just the internet shut down. <laughs> oh, wild. Okay, let's, uh, let's check this out. See, it, it's kind of funny because it's like even your attention is a little bit flawed here. So like, watch this here. You're like very focused on this wrecking ball, but you need to not be focused on this wrecking ball because even yeah. just your uh, your attention is gonna lead to mistakes. So like, look at this here. Oh, looking up at wrecking ball. You see how that just takes your attention from what's happening right here? Yeah. You see that? He's still yeah. hacked and then you take a shot, you take two shots when really here, we should probably be like, ooh, uh, Hanzo's here, I wanna hide. I'm gonna wait till he gets closer so then I can punch him or I'm gonna go in hard on him, right? Um, the ball is serving as a distraction, but your squishies kind of have to respect ball because he can kill them. You don't. So this is, there's no excuse for you here to be giving this yeah, attention. Because yeah. it ends up giving, like costing you about a hundred of your HP. I mean, we probably could have played our bubble there as well. Um, yeah. But regardless, like it's costing us like the attention here. I, I get lost. I didn't know. Yeah, I you get like, lost in the sauce. It happens. Dumb decision, I immediately recognize. I was like, wait, where do I go next? That is a but... fat, Fat EMP. Yeah, it just got carried uh, by the EMP. It happens. Absolutely carried. Yeah, <laughs> I, like I'm not, I'm not as worried about the mechanical stuff. Like he said, like losing yeah. track of people, that'll just come with time. Um, experience, more play, more yeah, I, I focus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like here, right here. Uh, I'm more, the this philosophy. Is, this is this is something that's probably going to be okay because I'm willing to bet that there's nobody in the enemy team that's doing anything right now. This guy's kind of feeding. But be careful. Just make sure that there's no okay, okay, we're good, right? There's nothing here yeah. to worry about. We don't care about this space. So we're good to we're good to do this, you know? You know, put this blow this guy up. But just be aware, if this Hanzo was here, you would need to be making sure that this guy doesn't get follow up. So don't give this guy too much attention at a bad time. Like right now, where's that Hanzo? Where's that Genji? I, again, right here. Stop. Really yeah. stop. You might bubble this to kind of like deal with mines. Like maybe that's okay, but you need to be really careful about how much attention this guy's getting. Because again, you see what's happening, right? This space is now being contested by one, two more lethal targets that you are uh, more equipped to deal with, right? Yeah, I I, I feel like the off tank mentality really shows in Overwatch right. too. Yeah, you're, you're, single you're, tank. you're peel, 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 peel. And you know, the thing is, is that even as a diva here, I don't know that I would go for a ball because yet you're better at burning a ball than a Winston. Um, 
But I still wonder if just like sitting on that Genji Hanzo to prevent them from following up would be better. It probably would have been. I like honestly, like um, sometimes you just have to put your trust in teammates. Sometimes I like my brain's like, oh, confirm kill, just get it right now. Right. Get the advantage and go back in. We stay Right. It's just play and your versus, strengths, right? Play, yeah, play strengths. my strengths. Teammate, they don't get it. Well, go next. Right. 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 Make sure that every ball engaged doesn't have follow up from the rest of his team, because more often than not, that's what's going to kill your team rather than the ball. And there it is. <laughs> you see it. Yeah, more down. And there's some more yeah. down, right? She does it. She dies to ball because look at what's happening. She's going back to peel. That Hanzo is uncontested. She's trying to stall point, and then she dies. For yeah, it. Yeah, no just, just, way that just, this space should have been given up. You know? Yeah. Especially because you can maintain your, your your jump because you're already controlling the space. You only need to use it. And there he goes again. So that's like this is like a perfect little microcosm of like what's wrong with your play, where you actually go back, you peel, and actually you. Without you, I actually think the ball would have survived. I actually think that you they needed you to kill the ball, but killing the ball actually didn't win you the fight. The ball sacrificed himself to give his team the entire the point, and then they yeah. had the space, and then they win. All that space, and they just won the game. Yeah. Right. And that makes act, sense. So it's just something to consider. And then mechanic diff. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, I'm trying to think, when would be a situation where you would put attention on ball? What tank? What situation? Um... I always struggle with that because not, I I could give easy answers back in Overwatch One because like any off tank is just ball just deal sure. with the off tank but like now but now you don't have an off tank so that's not the answer so I always struggle to find the balance between space and ball but like I just it, it stuns like for me it's like I, I I like I still like Hog like Hog's still okay sure. for but sure. like eh. sure so so you would be better at dealing with mines as a Hog so you're definitely gonna be spending more time looking at a ball or or you know heck a Winston or a Diva as a Hog right Zarya. Yeah is maybe you bubble off the guy who gets slammed, but then you probably yeah. turn your attention onto the Hanzo Genji at close range. Um, D.Va, maybe we, we matrix the slam and burn him a little bit, but I probably wouldn't over per, over peel. I would probably sit on point. So I wanna go back to that fight and actually just kind of like think about each tank and how they would play this situation differently. Um, so like right here, probably a D.Va goes, you know, sitting here in the corner, sitting in the corner, shoot the ball, shoot the ball, shoot the ball. Maybe Matrix this guy's shots just a little bit on the Ana. And then as soon as he's out, I'm sitting right here and I'm shooting this Genji, shooting this Genji, Matrix, shooting, 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 Matrix, Matrix, control this space, right? Because I could peel back, yeah, but then again, same situation. I would just let them control the space. You're mobile. Yeah. So if you, you could sit here for a long time with your trillion, million, thousand second Matrix and then fly out when you need to, right? Um, Junker Queen actually probably the same thing um control the back line control the short the short angle here um shoot reinhardt actually reinhardt 100 percent would ignore ball 100 percent would oh, ignore yeah. ball um, oh, yeah. <laughs> especially if there's any sort of spam falling in reinhardt would sit right here with this big fat shield and laugh you're not getting any follow-up and just try and walk me and bully me right um that's what reinhardt's amazing at orissa uh probably would have shot the ball probably would have harpoon shot him a little bit and then javelin spend here control this space and so on um I mean, you're noticing a pattern here. <laughs> uh, like, there aren't many tanks that would have taken the 1v1, right? Most tanks would have probably tried to at least control the space to prevent backline follow-up. And I think that's because we have... Will you tell me, why is that more the case in Overwatch 2 than it ever was in Overwatch 1? With, with tanks, uh, one less tank space is completely changed. Um, you could control two lanes very easily with two tanks. Now, two lane control is almost impossible because you only have one tank. So, right. uh, so flanking and off angles are just inherently more valuable, right. less shields more valuable, right. and so on. And tanks are so beefy now, right? You can you can yeah. win so many 1v1s versus squishies, it's actually really important that you control their squishies. Like a lot of times these 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 tank matchups, the tanks just straight up ignore each other. Like they're, they're, it's much higher return on investment to control the enemy DPS and to control the enemy support. Yeah, I, I definitely struggle with that. Like before Overwatch 2 came out, like a month before I started playing again, um, I, was, I got really into Zarya. Um, yeah. And then uh, that's how I did. Cause, like, in this situation, if I was eight charge Zarya, I would run all four of them over. Like I, I, oh, feel, yeah. I feel I feel oh, confident. Yeah. Oh yeah. But so um, but adjusting to the tank tank matchup has been diff difficult. Yeah. And, yeah. I didn't yeah. ignore them. Yeah. 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 I mean that, that's just all it is. You play to your strengths, right? Most tanks in Overwatch two are really good at beating and controlling squishies. So unless you have a phenomenal tank matchup, or there, it's just the tank to see. Like for example, the the reason why it's really really crazy with wrecking ball is wrecking ball is able to just kind of skip and just go in away from you um but like let's say that this is a winston mirror and there's a winston right in front of you yeah sure the, shoot the winston right 
but if there's something else to shoot shoot something else first um I guess if there's like whenever there's a big gap, like you saw it earlier. Remember the wrecking ball slammed your torb here, and we focus the wrecking ball. Why? Because yeah. where were the squishies? Right. The, the, the it's completely it's MIA. Just... But yeah. if if the squishies match the tank's aggression or even s supersede the tank's aggression, they go way ahead. Then you you need to get those guys. I mean, almost as any tank, that's going to be the priority. Because um, those are the guys that are the kill throw. Like if you think about it, like tanks have a lot more HP, but they also do a little bit less damage. So a ball slam is actually not as scary as it used to be in Overwatch One. That's the irony there. Tanks are better and beefier, but they actually are. are it's harder to focus them down and, and get kills. Um, I don't know, just a little bit of a long conversation, but I hope that kind of, like, helps... No, no, I like, it. Like, like, honestly, because, like, um, it really is a struggle, because, like, uh, I, I did have a tendency to just try to match my tank a lot in Overwatch the beginning of it. Like, I'd play Zarya and just, sure. like, oh, if I kill their tank, I just win. Because, sure, like, they don't have sure, a tank. Sure, sure, sure.